today we'll have a look at a pen from this brand. I've reviewed this before. I'm just going to quickly show you the box, uh, the cardboard overlay, a sort of coffin type box. Oh, it's tight. There we go. That's what he said. Here's the um, uh, fake leather uh, pen pouch type thing. You can put this on. It's uh, it has this fake seal. It's not really a seal. It's just a piece of plastic. And then you get this thing. You put the pen on. And um, then in here there is a international warranty booklet as well as a, a user's guide. Now this pen was donated by Yoast from Applebaum Pennon. Uh, this is the pen of course. This is the Pelican Classic M200 Café Crème. And I got this pen to review from Yoast. Oh, but if you get a pen for free you're no longer objective. Oh no, it's completely wasted. Now I don't have to watch this review. Well, I'll be giving this pen away. So if that's how you feel, just don't enter the giveaway. The pen. Let's cover the past of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And then I'll do a writing sample. Alright, at the top of the pen, the finial. I've always loved this in Pelican pens. And if you've seen some of my other reviews, you know that. It's a, a, a Pelican. I'm assuming it's a Pelican mother with a baby Pelican. I've always enjoyed it. The model has, uh, sorry, the logo has been revised a little bit through the years, but I, I very much like it. Alright, then we have the stylized pelican bill clip, which actually looks like a pelican. It has the eyes, the head there, and then this is the bill. You have the uh, cap. Now the cap may look, I don't know if it looks black in this light, but it's actually a very, very deep brown. It reminds me a bit of that on the tortoiseshell M800 I have. And you also have that brown at the uh, piston turning knob. There's a little bit of gold accent there. And then here on the center band it says Pelican Germany and that's it. You unscrew the cap and then you have the nice nib which I'm fairly certain is steel with at best gold plating but it's definitely not a solid gold nib. Uh, it says Pelican, it has the logo and it has the M for medium on it. Interestingly enough, you can unscrew these nib units and replace them with anything you like, including vintage nib units. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like the ink window. I hope you can see that. It's very nice. It's a very nice deep dark brown. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I do understand the appeal of this for people who really like coffee because Café Crème, the colors were very well chosen, I think. Okay, then we have the section, tapers out slightly, and then you have the threads there. Um, it's not the biggest model in the Pelican lineup, but when you post it, I think it becomes a, a fairly comfortable pen. For me, it's on the small side, but a lot of people really like this model. I have reviewed M200s before, the M205 Duo, that's a highlighter uh, pen. I have also reviewed the M200 Tradition. Uh, so I don't want to go into a lot of detail because basically this is just a variation on a theme. Uh, you can always check out those reviews if you want more information. Uh, as I said, I really like these colors and what I very much enjoy is that this ink window and the barrel are completely flush. There's not even a seam that you can feel. So that's very, very cool. Okay, what do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? Well, as I said, the colors, the color scheme, very nice. It really is coffee-like. It almost... I can pretty much just taste chocolate when I look at this, which is a very interesting uh, synesthetic sensation in a way. I like the fact that it's a piston filler. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, that you know you actually have a decent amount of ink in there. I've always enjoyed Pelican nibs. Uh, I found this one to not really be an exception. Uh, they write well. Uh, typically offer a little bit of spring. With this one, not as much as you would expect with a solid gold nib, but. It's definitely an interesting nib to use. I like all of these things. Things I don't like so much, I do find these threads at the end of the uh, section there to be on the sharp side. And because the section is a bit small, for me, I can almost not not feel them. And that's a bit of an issue. But then again, I should just use a bigger model if that's an issue for me. Um, as I said, piston that's nice, operates smoothly. Uh, on these models, they're hard to disassemble. But you can unscrew the nib unit, put a little bit of silicon grease on a Q-tip, put it in and grease it up if you really have to. In all, I think 
for this price you get a very decently well-made nice little pen and the cool thing is you can win it you can win this um, keep an eye on my website sbrebrown.com I will announce how to do that alright that's pretty much it let's take a couple of measurements and then I'll do a writing sample the pen weighs 12 grams in total 4 grams capped 8 grams for the body cap length is 125.3 millimeters uncapped 121.3 millimeters uh, the posted length is 148.2 millimeters. Section diameter ranges from 9.1 to 9.9 millimeters. Barrel diameter 9.5 to 11.7 millimeters. Guys, I hope this was useful. Yoast, thanks a lot for uh, donating this pen to be given away. It's very cool. Uh, let's do a writing sample, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Pelican. M200 Classic, medium nib, and the ink is Gerbin Café des Îles. Let's do a bit of writing. Nib is nice and smooth. Bit of faster writing, see how well the feet keeps up. No issues there whatsoever, which is nice. Okay, uh, let's check out the wetness. The nib flows well, but I wouldn't call this the wettest writer in the world, but it's definitely not a dry writer, which is nice. Line variation, as you can see, you can squeeze out some line variation there. I've always enjoyed that in Pelican pens. And then finally some reverse writing that does make the writing a lot finer, but also it just stops writing. So this is not really a pen you can use for that purpose, I would say. Okay, Yoast, thanks a lot for sending me this pen. If you want yours, I'm trying to make this legible, go to Applebaum Pennen. Um, but of course, you can also win this one, and this is March 2015. Keep an eye on the website, uh, my website, and I'll uh, let you know how you can win this. Okay, that's all there's to it. I hope this was useful, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye.